Hi, today on set, I've got a very special guest. I've got uh, Sanjay Panda here, a certified data vault modeler with me, also uh, worked on a client site on a data vault model, and he's got some really interesting opinions to share about data vault as a data warehouse. So Sanjay, what do you think about data vault as a data warehouse? Um, it's very interesting because when you design your data warehouse as a data vault, one of the things you're doing is you're creating this repository that is organization-wide that is not limited to what we traditionally call a data warehouse. You could take, because of the way you're going to use raw data as information and you're not going to put business rules before the data warehouse, it becomes an ideal data source for data mining, data quality projects, which has integrated data with the dirty data in it. Um, for any kind of complex analytics, for a whole bunch of other things that extend beyond what is called traditional BI, which I believe it's it's uh, it's changing the landscape of what is called BI is changing because there is that shift that's happening between um, operational data and business intelligence data warehouse data, spe specifically because of the availability of hardware and the fact that we're actually moving closer and closer to real time, and that's becoming more of a reality. So I really think that the data world is an ideal structure because one of because of the way it forces you to standardize at the organization level, and also because you can actually use that in multiple ways. And one of the other questions I had for Sanjay, since he's used it in one of my client sites, is what specifically, if, if you could list or just take for a moment, list for us specifically what some of the benefits are that you've seen in action by using the data vault? Oh, tons. The, 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 best, the best one I can think of is, I mean, having built business intelligence projects for over 15 years now, um, one of the things that, that is the best part is not thinking about business rules makes you start building the structures really fast, and then because the structures are patterned, it's so easy to create templates that even with a tool, I mean, now we replaced it um, with a really powerful tool, but prior to that, we didn't have a very powerful tool. We could easily generate, despite the tool limitations, a lot of the code could just be generated, and the loading of the data warehouse is really easy, really fast. So what happens is you get the data out of the source systems really quickly into really into these friendly integrated structures. Now taking the data out of the data warehouse, that's another story, but it's still much easier, even if you have to build star schemas or any other structure, whether it's virtualized data marts, uh, using uh, virtualization tools like um, uh, Composite or Informatica, which I think uses Composite internally, or, and, and any of the other virtual virtualization tools. It's just so much easier because you already have the pre-integration done. So it's just so easy to get the data out. It's, it's, it's a perfect source for, for, for building business intelligence stuff. You don't need to do the integration. You've already done that one step earlier. Uh, the thing is you do have to do the business intelligence, the, the business rules and stuff, but that is driven by the business. And the best part is if they change the rules, no big deal because you have the, that raw data set. You just go back, implement the rules, regenerate the whole damn thing, and you're done. So, one more question for our special guest here. Uh, I've often been asked um, if you could impart some wonderful nugget of information to our listeners or to you, um, what would you tell somebody who's just looking at the data vault, who's got maybe a bit of experience with star schema warehousing and, and traditional styles? Um. I believe one of the best parts is you already have a lot of the knowledge, especially because if you've built if you've built, built at least one old uh, Kim, uh, if you've built one Inman style uh, CIF based data warehouse and one Kimball style, anybody with three to four years of experience, in my opinion, should have done both. Uh, sometimes the architectures people I've seen architectures where they build an Inman, Inman CIF and then they build a Kimball on top, and sometimes I've seen independent. But the the point is. You already have a lot of this knowledge. You have the knowledge of the ETL. You have the knowledge of a lot of the structures. You have knowledge of how data changes. You have knowledge of performance. Now, <clears throat> because of the way the data vault is, uh, because of the way it actually inherits all these good properties, you can actually leverage that knowledge really quickly. It took us 
no time to get up to speed with the data water. Of course, we did require the right training because we were we were making some mistakes that would have really bitten us badly down the path. But uh, I mean, Dan came in and trained our whole team, and it was um, it was a blast because the training was fun, and we loved your jokes uh, and the knowledge. And uh, it just uh, I think it 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 made the project really take off because one of the mistakes that we were making is not giving enough credence to the methodology. We were so focused on the design and the model, whereas, uh, truth be told, we should have focused way more on the methodology. And then the fact that everything became granular and these small processes, that's just so powerful. That's just so easy, especially when you talk about scaling, when you talk about problem solving, when you talk about fixing things, when you talk about finding what broke, when you talk about um, moving to, say, uh, an architecture where you're required to use, uh, where you want to use multiple systems and you have all this hardware sitting around and you want to use, you want multiple processes to be loading using multiple servers, I don't see how you could do that using another architecture. All right. Well, you've heard it from Sanjay and I'm going to try to have him as a guest again. If you, if you like this video, uh, vote for it down below, right? Um, and let us know. We'll put some comments on, on our YouTube channel and, um, Maybe you can be on uh, on a video. I'll, I'd be happy to interview you if, you, if you're if you interested. Uh, send us an email and let us know. Thank you very much for joining us. We'll see you next time.